Yo. Yeah. What's up, my people? <laughs> hey, what's up, family? Yo, today we're going to do this video based on memory, mm -hmm. which we all have. Another reason why I wanted to do this video is because I always get quite a few people always tell me that I have a great memory. But we all have a great memory. And I mean you too out there. I don't everybody. Think so not everybody, Bobby. Come on, really? <laughs> Believe I'm gonna prove it That's to you. That's a this gift. Video. That's really a gift. Like he it, he amazes me and sometimes when he tells me that he he can remember things at one or two years yeah, old. Sure. My mother can't oh, no. even remember our names. Ah. <laughs> That's true. That's, very That's true. funny. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> she do be calling you her name and her name like, back. I'm of like, of course they have it. Anyone that has too many kids, it does oh, happen. It so too many kids. Too many kids. What? You got two damn kids. You got like two damn kids. You got 30 kids. But that's a good point. You're right. I, I bet you there's a mom out there like, yeah, I got five kids. Yeah, but I don't call my baby Linda. I don't call you Linda. But back to what I was saying. Okay. I'm going to prove to everyone out there that, yeah, I might have a good memory, but you do too. You just haven't unlocked it. And just pay attention because I guarantee you, I'm going to make some, I'm going to hit some key points that's going to jog your memory. So stay tuned. Uh, for example, let's go to the educational part right here. Now in your, mem in your, in your brain, you have what's called the thalamus. You got the hypothalamus. Then you got your amygdala. And then you got your hippocampus. All of these has to do with memory. And they all right there in by the frontal lobe of your brain, which is basically... The, the third eye. Thank you. Is the that third why eye. the Egyptians, didn't the Egyptians the yeah, the them? third eye. Or like the... Right yeah. There? yeah, that's well, cool. Those third. songs named that just, my baby just mentioned, I can't remember that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you can explain. Yeah, okay. all right. So those things help you with your memory. So that's that. I won't get too many people confused with mentioning these big words mm -hmm. but we all have great memory um for example sometimes your memory and that's why i said mm -hmm. i'm gonna mention some key points think about it how many times have you heard of certain song maybe it's a song that you love and you could be going to work and as you drive you hear a certain song you're like oh man that's my song right there i remember my cousin brother mother sister when she used to sing this song all the time we all been through that a certain song might jog a part of your memory that makes you think of a loved one or someone that meant something to you in your life, a moment or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. These simple things jog your memory. Um, we all know food. Food always jog your memory. I can tell you a personal yeah. thing of mine. For example, I, this may sound silly, but lima beans. When I, now, my mother died when I was about, I'm going to say, three or four years old. But do you know we have beans every day in Paris? You think you Spanish people have beans and rice a lot? We have beans a lot. We had pinto beans, lima beans, black eyed peas beans, red beans, kidney, whatever beans. And my mother, I used to love lima beans. Yeah. When she would make lima beans, oh man, I love lima oh, beans. Oh, don't forget the chicken. No. We love our chicken every day. <laughs> <Silly>. <laughs> yeah, but anytime to this day, if I don't care where I'm at, if I eat a lima bean, instantly I think mm -hmm. of my mother. It's, it's the most incredible thing. My mother pops in my head. And mind you, my mother died when I was like, I'm gonna say about four years old. And if I eat a lime with me, I don't care where I'm at. She pops in my head. Wow. Matter Did you say ice cream cake does? It reminds you of... That's a good one. I mentioned that to you earlier. Now, I'm going to give you... This is, a, this is a really good friend of mine slash brother, my buddy James. I remember when he's with his lady, Kawana, many years back. And Kawana, I want to thank you for making me a part of that day. Now, I'm going back maybe about... I'm going to say about 25 years ago, something like that. Maybe a little longer. I remember she drove over and picked me up to surprise her man and drove me back to his way because she wanted to surprise him for her birth for his birthday. And she had bought him a foot a Carvel football cake. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I had never had a Carvel football cake. Now mind you, I'm going back 25, 30 years ago. Nice. I had never had a Carvel cake. She had she wanted me to be part of that moment. It was special to them, but she made me a special mm -hmm. moment as well by making me a part of their special moment. And we had just four of us had a moment to share for her man's birthday. And she cut me a piece of that cake, and I never ate it. And when I ate it, you know how the um the cargo cake, crumbs, it got the, the cookie crumbs, crumbs in the middle. The when I ate it, I was like, man, this cake is good. Mm -hmm. Man, this is some good cake. And that was yeah. that. Do you know, here it is 30 years later. Do you yeah. know, I don't care where I'm at, any time I eat a Carvel cake. You think of that? James popped my head. Kawana popped, popped my head. Every, every <laughs> that's time. Nice, that's See, beautiful. And that's what I'm saying about people out there. That you got to remember. Your memory comes to you in dreams. Sometimes we had the weirdest dreams. You can't, mm -hmm. 
you can't understand how this dream happened. What am I dreaming about this? So sometimes a loved one that you lost yes. might come back to come back to you in a dream, and you oh. wonder. You wake up, you might cry. You know, you might be happy. Sometimes it'll bring back something you've been looking for, and, and they told you in a dream, or it reminded you in a dream. Your memories are locked in. You just gotta unlock it. So sometimes it's in dreams. Your memories come to you. Sometimes it's food. Sometimes it's music. And the number one thing of all, which wow. is, is bad, is drama. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's unfortunate. Let's say you had a bad car accident, a fight, you lost a loved one. Trauma always trigger memory. You know, yeah. you don't you don't forget those things. No, you're right. Because, I mean, I think I don't have the greatest memory. But today, um, during the, throughout the day, I was actually um, was listening to this piano. And it, oh. yeah, this piano is a nice theme. I love jazz. Mm -hmm. And all suddenly it brought me back to when I was in fourth grade. Mm -hmm. See? I literally was playing the piano at the school, school number one. Yeah. And wow. that brought me back. And see, I tell y'all this all the time. Y'all be yeah. think I'm crazy. I'll be like, your memory. You got to remember, all your memories, remember, they're yours. You went through these experiences. So your memories are there. It's no different than uh, a person that's good with a computer. They'll tell you. The computer was basically designed and created off of your memory, your brain. So just like you put something on a computer and then you delete it and you think it's gone, trust me, a, a real computer technician that's great with it, it don't matter that you deleted it 10 years ago. He could get in there. It may take him a while. He could get in there and he'll find what's been deleted. Just like your mind. You think it's not there no more because it happened so long ago. But you got some people memory, like I said, through trauma, music, uh, food, you know, all kinds well, of stuff. Another, the other memory, it'd be like, say you look for something, you can't find it right one day. And then like another day or later, you're looking for another thing. But then, then you find it be like, oh, wait, I was just looking for that. That's yeah. my memory too. Like, oh, I was just looking for that. Yeah, exactly. So, and, and matter of fact, I got another good one for you. Um, Let's go to a really good family cartoon movie. Remember the movie Ratatouille? Ratatouille. Yes. Ratatouille. Oh, one of my favorite movies. That was a, good, that was a little funny. Yes, yes. I'll give you a good example when I say food. And I'm sure we can all relate with this in you too if you've seen it. In the movie Ratatouille, remember the food critic guy? Yeah. He had to come and taste the food mm -hmm. and he pass so it. He was miserable. Not. Yeah, he was a miserable. No sense of humor. Yeah, really. stuck up dude. <laughs> and when he came, and when he tasted the food, it reminded me of my mother. That when one he, bite. When he took one bite of food, he was like, it traveled him back in time to when he was a little kid yep. and he ate his mother food and a tear came through his eye. He's like, <laughs> See, and that, that's what I'm saying. Food, music, uh, trauma, all kind of things jog people's memories. Um, another thing I'll give you guys is that we, what's up with here? I was in you. Yeah, I'm waiting for you to add jump oh. in as well. Wait, did uh, you hear the story? Was it right too? Yes. Oh. All right, how about this one? I give, I give you guys a really right. good one. Let's say... You got what's called long-term memory, and then you got short-term memory. Um, so I would say sensory memory. Sensory mem long-term memory, mem you remember stuff for a long yeah. time. Then you got what's called short-term and sensory memory. Short-term memory just like means you mem remember something night. real quick, and then you forget yeah. it. Sensory memory is something like real quick, and it's like, dang, I don't even remember I that. I think I have like, short-term oh, memory. Yesterday when I was at my friend's house and we were watching Everybody's Hates Chris, it was that episode when, when they made Tanya sit at the kitchen table and mm -hmm. eat the sausage. Mm -hmm. That reminded me of you guys when you guys used to make me eat fish uh, when I was younger. Yeah. You had me sit there for hours and exactly. you were going to eat this yeah. fish. And exactly. you still don't eat them. So. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> then it jogs the memory. Now, I, I'm going to give you guys a really great one with sensory memory. Now, would you guys, like I explained what sensory memory is, like real quick. I can guarantee you, and everyone out there as well, if if I told you, I'm just make up something. Let's say uh, <laughs> let's say your job. Let's say your job your job is ten miles from your house. So now if you speak into one of your neighbors and they ask you, you know, how far is your job from your house? You're gonna say ten miles, right? Yeah. yeah. Ten miles. So if you're at your job and the boss asks you, hey, how far is your house from here? And you're gonna say it's what? Ten. Ten miles. If I called you. On your way coming from work, and I say, "Hey, are you gonna ride by McDonald's on your way coming back? Is yes. it McDonald's?" Yes. Yeah. Boom. And if I say, "Hey, <laughs> are you gonna ride by um a Dunkin' Donuts on your way home? Is it Dunkin' Donuts? Yeah. Cause it's in your mind. You know it's there. Yeah. You go, "Yeah, I remember it's Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, hell yeah, it's Dunkin' Donuts." And then if I go, "Hey, listen, on your way home, will you be riding by a grocery store? Yeah. You gonna be? Yeah, it's a grocery store. Yeah, I ride by a grocery store all the time. Mm -hmm. Right. All these things are right there. Right. But." If I was to say to you, 
All these things that you remember, going to work and coming to work. Okay. You remember these things. Yeah. Right? But if I said to you, I could bet you a thousand dollars and and be one hundred percent, not not waste your time. I'm serious. I bet you a thousand dollars. But I'm gonna make a real good point. Check it out. If I told you I I'll bet you a thousand dollars, there is something you do every single day. Every day. Every day going to work. Or going to school, mm -hmm. going to work, and coming home, you do all the time. But I guarantee you a thousand dollars, you couldn't give me a definitive answer to the question I'm going to ask you. I bet you I will, y'all. Yeah, okay, well, all right, here, the, here go the question. Here go the question. Uh, all right, here go the question. Now remember the Dunkin' Donuts, remember yeah, the yeah, McDonald's, remember the grocery store, because you, yeah. you know you go there all the time. You do this all the time. Okay, if I was to say to you, you go to work all the time. All right. On your way to work. Okay. Thousand dollars. Okay. You really gonna put up a thousand too? Yeah, I'm gonna okay. put up a thousand. Okay. On your way to work, could you tell me exactly how many times you press the brake pedal? Oh my God! You can't baby. even ask that's that. Not, you can't. That, that's, ain't nobody that's, got nobody, time for that. Nobody, nobody, <laughs> nobody got time for that. Nobody, that's nobody, that lady on that video. Anybody got time for that? Nobody got time nobody for that. Is that exactly. But it's a lot. I. It's a lot. It's no way possible you're going to remember that. You see what I'm saying? But, but my point is, yeah, you do know you do press the brake pedal. Yeah. You but do. it's traffic yeah, lights. Who's going to count counting. the numbers? Is that, who, dog yeah. might run in front of the car. Pothole. Person might run it. Another person cuts you off. Oh, my you God. It's so many. That's, that's, like, so many. that's like counting your steps or counting how, much, how many times you breathe a day. True. Yeah, exactly. But you know you do walk. Mm -hmm. You know you did it, but now someone say, how many steps? you like, what? I can't remember that. We all know we Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> but see, this is what <laughs> called this is what called sensory. This is what called sensory memory. And and I know yeah. this joker here. Right. As soon as I said going to work, coming to work, something you do every day, she probably was thinking about coffee. Mm -hmm. Oh, I get coffee every day. But well, Spanish yeah, people, yeah, don't we all? I mean, Spanish no. people love coffee. When you're in your home and you want to drink coffee, <laughs> don't nobody drink coffee like you. No, nah, Spanish people do. They drink coffee. Man, I remember I was over at my friend's okay, house. Okay, we're being here stereotyping. <laughs> That's what, okay. Back in the day, I was over at my friend Anderson's house late okay. at night, 11 at night. And the first thing his mother goes, Hola, como esta? Very polite. I love that. It's great. Uh, Hola, como esta? And the next word, you know the first thing out of my mouth is that. Get it, cafe? Get it, cafe? I was like, <laughs> It's 11 at night to talk about some damn coffee. Yeah, it's like, we just, just, we, we just modest people. Like, man, we drink coffee, drink coffee. all day, man. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that was the thing was with the sensory memory, though. That's yeah, how that works yeah. out. Um, so, yeah, everyone has their memory. You have a good memory. You got to just unlock it. Remember, music, movies. Poetry. Everything. Books. Trauma is this, Trauma definitely gives it. Food. That's, oh, just like the, that's just like the army. When when they come out the army mm -hmm. and they be hearing loud, it brings them back to like when they was going through mad oh, like battles. Oh, uh, PTSD, post traumatic yeah. um, um, syndrome. Yeah, some of that that memory mess with them. No, but even going back, even going back with what you were saying about the the, the putting the pedal, you yeah. know, and all that. But let's just say blinking. <laughs> Who's gonna count how many times you blink through the so, day? That's sensory memory. That's it. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you got, you got, so you got, you got long-term memory. Yeah. Then you got short-term memory. Then you got sensory memory, which leads to short-term memory. <laughs> sensory memory is like that. Something that you do, like you said, blink your eyes. No way possible. You don't remember how many times you blink your eye, but you know you did it. But you know you did. It's you interesting. know you did. Yeah, it's you know you hit the brake pedal, but there's no way yeah, possible. Work, you know? So you will owe me a thousand dollars. <laughs> no, no, you know what I'm saying? because that you set me up for failure. Just nah, now. but she said I'll put up a thousand dollars. You just set me up for failure. <laughs> I put up a thousand. I won't give you my money. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> so just remember, folks, everyone out there, you do have a good memory as well. Sometimes you just need to spend time with yourself. It feels like you're traveling in time okay. if you just really thought back really thought back, almost like meditating, and you really thought back of a moment in time, and I, I assure you, you will all of a sudden open up doors in your mind that you thought was gone. You just had them closed. It was a little dormant. Oh, yeah. That's all it was. Remember, dormant, though. It's yes. not a big word. It just means asleep. Yeah. Put to sleep for a moment. That's all it was. The memories that's in your head, they're yours. They're there. You just got to go search and open that door and wake them back up because they are there. Um, you gotta, never tired, my bad. No, I'm just saying that you actually gotta <laughs> use the energy in that brain to open up your memories. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So, everyone has a good memory. Uh, for example, I'll give you, in closing, I would say this 
how many times would we all say that through the course of the day, the course of the week, course of the month and the year, in closing, I would say, how many times will we all say that we love each other? I don't say I love y'all. Ah. Oh, no. We say it so many times. We just it's too much. It's too many to count. Yeah, see that's yeah. what I'm saying. Did you say she was the one that taught you to say I love you all the time? Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. I wasn't used to that. I didn't grow up saying I love you and all that. And the way we grew up, the way we said, we, <laughs> the way we said he loved each other to your brother and sister, you smack your brother in the back of the head right. and all that. You just rough with each other. That's too many but, ways but to love. Honestly, love. saying in closing. None of us could possibly say how much we say we love each other all the time because we say it so it's much, unlimited right? Love. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that that would be sensory memory. You can you honestly say, you "No, nah, I say I love you to my family all the time." That is no way I possible. Yo, get out of here. She's, yeah, she's you know, adopted. What is that? She's adopted. You know what I mean? She was slacking on the last video anyway, right? Y'all all know that she was slacking. You know what I mean? It was like a sometime. Remember how yes. a sometime? Some. Remember what was it? Rocky Three, remember he said, get on out of here, yo, has been. Yo, she's a has been. All right, y'all. Remember, you have a good memory, too. So just unlock your doors and wake it up from being dormant. Because you do have a good memory. Mm -hmm. Food, music, trauma. Many things unlock that memory. Have a good one. Peace.